This devotion is for the 29th of April, Wednesday the 29th, 2020. How many of you, when you're sitting around the house, like to get comfortable? I like to wear comfortable clothes, an old pair of gym shorts, t-shirt, maybe something like this. This is one I like to wear. I was pretty old and ratty. I know there's a big hole under the sleeve right here. And, and uh, if you look at it closely, you'll see I've used it on the yard, a pink shirt. I mean, it's, it's pretty pretty old and ratty, but it's just comfortable. It's nice to wear. Now, if I'm getting ready to go to church, I'd probably put on something else to wear, like nicer shirt like this. I know a number of you work on the Air Force base, and there's a lot of times when you go to work, you have to wear your uh, uniform, and I'm sure it's supposed to be, you know, pressed and clean. I wonder what would happen if you'd come to the base someday when you're supposed to wear your uniform, and you're wearing an old ratty shirt like that. <laughs> something tells me things wouldn't go so well. I use this as an illustration for our what we're going to look at today. We're in Galatians chapter 3, and uh, Paul writes this in, in verses 26 and 27. You are all sons of God through faith in Jesus Christ. For all of you who are baptized into Christ have clothed yourselves with Christ. Paul uses clothing language several times in his letters. And, you know, he talks about that old sinful nature. It's like putting on this, this old kind of ratty t-shirt. Um, and, and it is comfortable. And that's sin, right? It's kind of comfortable. Remember, we have an old Adam, an old sinful nature that is really most comfortable just sitting back and living that selfish, self-centered life. I mean, even as Christians, we struggle with this, right? We, we, we kind of are always looking out for ourselves, looking out for number one. Well, Paul says... Everything changes when through faith in Jesus Christ and we are baptized into his name. He says, when that happens, we are clothed with Christ. Yesterday, uh, we talked about in chapter two, Paul says, I've been crucified with Christ. It's no longer I who live, but Christ who lives in me. And now today, Paul says, through our baptism, we get to clothe ourselves with Christ, his righteousness that Jesus won at the cross for us when he suffered and died in our place, when he won for us a place in heaven. So by God's grace, through faith in Jesus, when we go outside every day, both inside and outside, Christ is connected to us so that we can go out and the same love and joy and peace that Jesus constantly shows to us, we get to show to everybody else we meet. So what do you say? The old sinful clothing, I mean, if you want to be a little dramatic about it, when Jesus died on the cross, that old sinful clothing, he died so that clothing could be thrown into the fires of hell and that we could be clothed with him with the forgiveness and salvation he won for us at Calvary's cross. So that you and I, again, we get to go out every day and to proclaim that love, that forgiveness, that salvation that Jesus came to bring. Would you pray with me? Lord Jesus, we thank you that through our baptism, we are united with you. We are connected to you. And uh, we are clothed with your righteousness. We are made right with God. We have peace with God through what you did for us at the cross. So be with us, Lord, as we go out into the world every day, that we would really proclaim and share your love, your salvation with everyone we meet. And we ask this in your powerful name, Lord Jesus. Amen. God bless your day.